Hey everybody, this is AK Man 1984, back for part 6 of my tutorial ser series. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys uh, a new, uh, something new, and I'm gonna show you a program that's uh, really good to use with uh, the computer craft and uh, Lua. And basically, it's better than going into the computers and trying to edit your code. It's basically a uh, code editor which in Windows. I'm going to put the link in the description on how to download it and I'm going to show you how to use it. It's called uh, Notepad++ and um, I'm going to write a program that I've already written uh, that's uh, running on these two computers here. And I put this line here in between so um, that I can show you how to do uh, something with a wired cable. And you could do this with a bundled cable. Uh, you could just put a bundled cable here, but I'm putting this to show you guys more uh, better on how to do it. And also I'm going to show you how to do it wirelessly. So what I'm going to show you is, um, I don't, if you guys can see that this computer is off, there's nothing showing, and this one is just showing that little dots. And if I go into this computer, uh, there's nothing um, nothing displaying. I, I can reset it, and if you can see up here, Okay, nothing's happening. Um, well, anyway, basically I can't do shit. So I'm pressing Control and R, and nothing's happening. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to turn on this, how to make this computer display something by another computer wirelessly and wiredly. So uh, if I go into this computer, it will, fi it will finally turn on. And it's going to ask asking me uh, something. So it's asking me, do you want to turn on the receiving computer? yes or no so if we say yes now it says please select color and if I go into this computer the saying is waiting for signal so I basically turned on that computer uh, or I made it uh, do uh, be able to do something so and if I go here it works cool so and now they're reset and uh, it's asking me again, do you want to turn on the computer? And this one's showing me blank. So if I do this now, nothing happens because the computer over there is off. So let's turn it on again. And now it's on again. And see, now it's showing, it's putting on the light. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. And uh, I'm going to go into Notepad++ Notepad++ to show you how it looks like and also how to, how to make it work and how to use it and uh, what to do with it. So let's go into Notepad++. Alright guys, so I'm in uh, Notepad++. Uh, this is how it looks like. And it's kind of uh, daunting at first and it's, uh, like, uh, it starts with a blank page. It basically looks like Notepad. Uh, and also, I'd like to say that uh, you can, you do not need to have Notepad++ for this to work. You can do this in Notepad also, just normal Notepad from Windows, and it does work. Uh, but it's not as good as this, because this one um, shows you what line you're at. And when you get errors in computer craft, it the error shows you what line your error is on. So basically, when it tells you the line of error, uh, it will tell you the number and then you will just go to the number here and uh, then um, you would you would know where your error is uh, is in and also down here it shows you what what uh, line you're on one what length you're on and also this is good for if you want to know where your cursor is in computer craft uh, you can do that like that so um, I'm going to show you how to get to your files of the computer craft and how to uh, how to retrieve the files that are saved into your computers in the computer craft and uh, then I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to show you guys the coding okay so here we go alright guys so um, I'm going to start by showing you how to get to your uh, your files in the computer craft so you would go to your uh, basically you would go to where your Minecraft is saved and so it would be local disk and, and then you will be users 
and then your name or whatever name your computer is named and then app data and then roaming and now here if you have minecraft installed uh, and you're running your uh, computer craft off of minecraft and then it will be in the minecraft uh, folder but for me i'm running the, the technic pack um, which is the, uh, something different when it will be in the technic launcher so it's they look pretty much the same both folders so um, but uh, if you're running technic launcher uh, this is where you would go and then you go with into technic ssp and then this was this is how pretty much your minecraft folder will look like a little bit uh, you would go into save and then you would go into the world that you create the, the name of the world and then you would go into the computer and here uh, this is all these numbers are basically all the computers I ever created in Minecraft so every time you create a computer and you place it down and you and you start it up it will create a folder name uh, and it'll put a number to it and uh, down here you'll see labels and now in this folder will will be the disks the disk labels for each of your disks and uh, you can this you can change this uh, if you go into it and you'll see the numbers and then the next to it you'll see letters or whatever you name your uh, your disk uh, and then you can change that and you can also find out which disk is which number is your disks and here also you see there's a folder called disks and uh, or disk uh, this is where all your disks uh, fold, um, are basically stored uh, Oh, so actually, there's another. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So th sorry. This uh, the label um, here is one the one you would edit to change the the names, the labels of the each of the go of the of the disks. Now these folders you can't change the na the numbers. Uh, they're all going to be s sequence numbers. Every time you create a disk, it'll create a folder, and it'll basically go to the next number, next number, next number. And if you go into the labels, you'll see all the numbers, and then uh, you can uh, you can just say I want number one to be named as um, um, whatever you want. I name mine by by letters, so uh, that's how you would uh, change the labelings of the computers. So um, now the two computers that are uh, on my Minecraft floor, on my floor of my world, are in the uh, 30 computer. Uh, if you remember, the ID was 30. That's how also you can know which computer you're working on by the ID of it. So it'll be 30. And we have two fi files inside of the of that computer. The startup file, which I created into Minecraft from the last video I've, I made, uh, if you guys remember and an a, a file. So basically the startup file is the file that will every time your computer will start it will basically look to that file and see what's in it and then run whatever's inside that file. So if you want to launch uh, the no Notepad++ you would right click on it okay right click on it Oop. right click on it and then you go edit with Notepad++. So uh, that's how you would do that's how you open it and if you want to open it with uh, with notepad you just go open and then choose notepad um, so that's how you open files into notepad plus plus alright guys so this is notepad plus uh, plus how it looks like when you have a code written out on it and uh, basically this is uh, the uh, first computer where you send a signal to the other computer to start displaying something. So we're in the startup file of the computer that would send the signal. So you see here it says do you want to start uh, <coughs> turn on the receiving computer? So uh, so here uh, I changed uh, the startup file a little bit so after you ask the user what, what uh, what do you want to do and then you say write yes or no and then the computer will read read the answer uh, and if it's Y as an yes <coughs> it will 
uh, send set the uh, bundled output cable right to uh, blue. So if you have the blue cable, it will just turn on the blue. But if you have a bundled cable, it will turn on the blue bundle uh, blue cable in the bundled cable. So you can have a single cable blue on the right side, or you can have a bundled cable, and uh, the code will still the same will be the same. And it won't change. So here, uh, else if answer is n, n, n is a no, then OS shut down. You don't have to do this, but uh, you could put whatever you want here. And else print not a valid command. Basically, it will uh, after you if you put if you input something else than yes or no, it will base it will um, uh, print not a valid command. And then end sleep for one second and sh then shell run a. Uh, basically, this will run the a program which is here, and the a program is pretty much the same as last time. Uh, I mean the startup program I had, but I just put it in A um, because it's easier this way to like uh, uh, separate your f your co codes and uh, write it this way you want. But uh, I mean, uh, if you want to try it and do it in one one code, then go ahead. But I'd like it. I like to separate my codes. Um, so yeah. So this would this is how you would send the signal to the computer that you want to turn on and then this is uh, the computer the other computer with the startup file uh, this is how you would turn on the computer so basically um, you would open the rednet back and then you would repeat these uh, repeat the commands so basically what this is doing is repeating these three commands over and over and over and over and then this command quarantine a yield dot yield uh, basically what this uh, command does is um, it prevents the computer from crashing if you don't put this command and you just put repeat uh, the computer will repeat 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 and then it will eventually it will crash this basically stops it from crashing so you would need to put this command if you're running it this way so after you put this command you put e until rs test bundled left color blue is true so basically it's going to yield until the left bundled uh, blue cable is on so after it's on it's going to continue on with the remainder uh, the code I had last time um, that I wrote I, I showed you guys so nothing's changed um, uh, here it's the same code uh, so that's how you do it, and uh, this is the receiver com this receiver computer. So let's go back into uh, Minecraft. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with a wireless uh, modem to do it wirelessly. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that next. All right, guys. So I'm back into my uh, Minecraft world, and as you see, the wireless uh, the, sorry the wired cable is gone and uh, everything's pretty much the same now except for the this computer is still showing that it's not it's not displaying anything and this one's still saying uh, do you want to turn on receiving computer so we do yes and then now it says please select color and if you go into this co computer it says waiting for signal and everything still works as normal cool all right so and now it's reset again and now it's asking me again so uh, I'm gonna show you what's the code behind this in the uh, notepad plus plus so let's go into notepad plus plus and I'll show you alright guys so back into notepad plus plus and uh, what I changed is I put the red net open to the back side uh, sorry this is the uh, the left computer that uh, sends the signal. So, so you see here it says, uh, do you want to turn on a uh, receiving computer? And also the, what I changed is here. So uh, when it, when you press yes, then rednet send to number 30 computer, start. Okay. And as you remember, uh, like I said here, start can be anything you want. Just remember what you put. So you can put A, you can put B, you can put, I don't know, whatever you want to whatever here 
uh, can be whatever you would want. I put start just to show you. So uh, start uh, would, uh, would set off the com uh, command. And then if we go into the um, number 30 computer, uh, I added, uh, I made some changes here. And uh, to tell you honestly, this, co this uh, uh, command, this way of writing it is easier. So um, what you would do is basically also turn on the back, uh, open the back side of the rednet. And then you would do ID message equals receive, uh, rednet receive. And then if message is start, then run shell a. Okay, uh, that's how I did this, and then it was it will run a, uh, and that's how you would do that. So it's pretty simple, uh, guys. And uh, I shown you guys how to do this, uh, how to start a computer while it's not displaying anything. It's pretty simple. Uh, I would go with the wireless way because um, I mean it's much simpler, and it won't it will not give you much errors and stuff. So yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, so guys, please comment, subscribe, like, and uh, I've got, got getting a lot of comments with people saying to release the map. Um, like I've said before, guys, um, I'm not gonna release the map until it's completely done and it's completely working. I'm going to show you guys step by step how the map works. I'm getting a little bit of headway on uh, the, my other series, um, but it's still a long way off. So uh, also, if you guys, if you really guys want me to release the map, then I, I, I guys have to get me more views and more subscribers and more likes. But you don't need to because I'm going to release the map anyways when it's done. But if you want it released sooner, then uh, you gotta guys, guys, get me more views and more likes and more subscribers. So thanks everyone, and see you next time.